Joe McDonald, Tracy, Tracy Seymour, Seymour. We've spoke, we have spoke up, up framing. framing. I was always into um, art. I did a photography degree after school, but then went into construction uh, and hurt my back and then got back into the art world and we uh, sort of fell into it with uh, a friend of ours and she left and we took it over and loved it and carried it on ever since. It kind of merges the two worlds of art and sure. building. We are always, always into painting and drawing and did all that, but just you know, on the side mm -hmm. as a hobby. And, uh, but then this sort of fell in, it was just great. It sort of worked out for me. Yeah. <laughs> us, really. It yeah, out I've for us. followed suit. I've always wanted to own my own business. Mm. And once he found his love for picture framing, we went, yep, let's jump in and do it. Yeah. We always That's say cool. we share life stories through framing life's treasures. So we always love um, encouraging customers to bring all their moments from life in to get framed. So not just posters and pictures and piece, no. pieces of art, but more their yeah, life, story. life stories from travel memories. You know, you can pick up amazing pieces from overseas travels yeah. and frame it on the wall. We've had tea towels, we've had postcards. Yeah, we had a, had a woman come in with a child's tutu from 20 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> her so ballet tutu. It's <laughs> unlimited the things that you can frame and we always like telling the story through framing and framing a piece of somebody's life. When COVID first hit, um, the first three weeks, we got nothing, no new customers. So we sure. were kind of thinking, let's just finish the jobs we've got, yep. try to get customers to pick up and then figure out what we do. Yeah. The biggest challenge we were facing is customers weren't allowed to come here. We work together and live together. We were able to come into the studio without breaking the restrictions or social mm. distancing. So we knew we could keep working, but the problem was getting the customers. Um, so we just started talking about different ways and we thought, what if we were able to go to the customer, do the curbside pickup, um, free pickup and delivery to get their artwork um, and work with them through an online forum to design their piece and their framing. So we did a few posts. Um, the council were offering a free newspaper ad in the local newspaper. So we put that in and slowly customers started contacting us that were really keen for yeah. the home pickup and delivery. We've actually had quite a number of puzzles coming through and a lot of people are very scared to transport puzzles. So the pickup and delivery yeah, service well, really... Something we're going to have to continue yeah. on once the pandemic's over. I think by diversifying a little bit and going to customers and doing pickup and delivery. So I think that's something we're going to look at continue doing. Also the online consultation through email and photos is yeah. really big, big for us too. People and we can expand it. on that in, um, mm. we're looking to install a bit more of a system that we can do it through video, yeah. not just through photos and emails and talking, but we can actually have a live video stream sort of consultation with customers so that they can do it remotely be part of the community, see what other people are doing. Don't be scared to, to try something new, try something Don't different. Don't be scared to think outside the box too, you know, try yeah. something. Try anything. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's worth a shot. <laughs>